Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we stay in the trash can man and sent for Nick. I'm your host E, and today we're talking about good versus evil. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. Please expect spoilers for all of Stephen King's books in these videos. Please don't watch them if you haven't read them all. Thank you. On with the show. The first thing I'll mention is a response to this comment right here. The reason why I left some things out of the earlier videos was because I needed to leave something for the Dark Tower series themselves. Now, I never got around to Dooming Theorist videos for the Dark Tower series, but that's going to change here. At the end of this series, I will be doing each and every book. Before that, in between the end of the novels and starting the Dark Tower series, theorist videos what I will be doing is going through all of the short story collections because before I didn't I don't think I went deep enough into them I want to try and connect every single story in those collections and I'm gonna have to reread them if I'm gonna accomplish that now some people don't realize that there's three different versions of this book the first one being the original edition the cut edition as it's referred to in the community that's this one this one takes place between 1980 and 1981. And then when the paperback was released, it was updated to 1985 to 1986. And then when this one came out, which is the definitive edition, the one that was not chopped up by Doubleday, and uh, even though it was, it was released by them eventually, uh, this one takes place between 1990 and 1991. That's not to say that these books were published during that time frame. It's that the story takes place during those time frames. Now let's hop into the hard connects and some theories. The first thing I'll mention is something brought up by this user here. Of course, I mentioned this in the last video, but I failed to bring up that Mother Abigail and Dick Holleran were related. I don't actually remember this being in there. I do remember the conversation, but I do not remember that they were family. I haven't reread the book since then, so I cannot confirm, but maybe? If you know for sure and you can cite the exact passage in which this is said, please comment down below. Now for the hard connect. In book four of the Dark Tower series, Wizard and Glass, our quartet consisting of Roland, Eddie, Susanna, Oi, and Jake, actually arrive at the same world from the stand by way of Blaine the Pain or Blaine the Monorail. This explains why Eddie Dean, who is from 1987 New York, has no idea about Captain Trips because he never went through it. That kind of thing is very important in the Dark Tower series. Just another turn of the wheel. Now I would like to correct something that was put in a comment, not my video. Pause to read if you want to. But John the Conqueror is actually from African-American folklore and not a reference to John Farson. But I have no qualms with the rest of this comment. I forgot all about it. Good on ya. But that's all the time I have for you today. If there's anything else I might have missed, please feel free to add that down to the comments below. Also, if I made any mistakes, I don't have any problem with you correcting me. A word of warning, the next video that I post, tomorrow's video, will not be a Stephen King video, it'll be a book review. But the day after that, we're going to get right back on the Stephen King train with the Dead Zone. So until next time...